Earl Spinner Jr. did an interview with his, I think that's his woman, uh, she started her own podcast, and she got about six videos loaded up, I don't even remember her name, I just call her A.O., um, so, in this interview, Errol Spence, pretty much, he gave some updates on the Terrence Crawford uh, fight and things going on in his life. He pretty much was saying, you know, uh, during, like, the Danny Garcia fight uh, and the Sean Porter fight, you know, he was fighting a lot of demons. You know, he didn't really want to train, you know, saying he had to drop 90 pounds. He was cranky. You know, he was going through his things. Um, he also said pretty much that... Uh, the Terrence Crawford fight, you know, um, they, they're talking is going much smoother than the other time. So he's saying that's, he's been on the phone with him. They've been chopping it up. So that's been confirmed. It came out of Errol Spence's mouth directly. that he's been chopping it up with Terrence Crawford. Um, trying, here go that word again, trying to get this fight rolling. And I'm just saying to myself, like, what is the big deal? Like, what is these dudes? Like, what's the problem, bro? You know? But you notice I don't really get into it no more. I don't really like talking about it much anymore. I'm just waiting for them to get into the ring if they ever do, man. But he's pretty much saying that is the one that he wants. He don't need no tune-ups. He kept saying that on an interview. You know, we don't, you know, we don't do tune-ups. You know what I mean? So he's he's pretty much hitting that Terrence Crawford should be his next fight. But again, <laughs> you know, we just gotta see, man. Hey. Is this the same chick that had him on t on video, man, when he was skied up and was like, a z a a, 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 a what? <laughs> man, I would have thought if this is the same one, if, if if it's not, if that's the one, then I would I don't know what's wrong with this dude, man. I would have kicked her all the way to the fucking curb. But uh if it's not the one he got he gave that bitch the boot, that's good, you know. But uh he looked healthy, man. He looked he looked good. Errol Spence looked like he's getting back to himself. That's good, though, because, you know, we got him ready. Uh, he's pretty much a walking knockout waiting to happen, you know what I'm saying? So we, we need him at 100%, so after Terrence Crawford knocks him out, uh, there won't be any excuses, you know? So uh, he also said the fight dates that people have been saying on a lot of these channels is bull. You know, all these fake fight dates, and everybody's saying they're supposed to fight this day and the third. And, and you know what? A lot of people wasn't falling for it. A lot of people were saying... You know, if we don't hear it come from Terrence Crawford or Errol Spence, then we don't believe it. And now I kind of see what people were talking about. And Errol Spence pretty much confirmed that a lot of them, um, those dates was trash. So he himself is not even given a definite date or, or, or if even the fight is even definitely going to happen. Because on one note, he's saying, you know, yeah, him and Bud is talking, it's going really good. And then he says he don't care who he fight. So I'm just like, all right. Okay, okay, you, you gotta care who you fight because you just said you don't want tune up. So you obviously do care who you fight if you say you don't want to fight a tune up, right? So this, this thing is crazy. This this whole debacle. I'm, I'm not even really interested in fighting anymore. I, I still would like to see it, but I don't have the same enthusiasm as I as I once had for this fight. Man, just to be honest with y'all, man. But anyway, let me know what y'all think, man. This is your boy Rebel Life Boxing. I will catch y'all later on the next one, and I'm out. Peace.